to the truth. This is my spin at the Shasta Hotel in Sacramento. It's a low income housing. See from Google here. Um, 80 units. And managed by John Stewart Company. Right now, my rent, I believe, is around 476. And to me, that's too expensive. When I first moved in, it was 400 a month. Uh, I want to move eventually when I can afford to do so. Uh, I've had to deal like with mice, bed bugs, cockroaches, so I do not recommend it for anyone unless you have to. When I first came here, I got onto SSI and that was a blessing. And before that, I was, I was staying with a, a Christian sister and then uh, when I got on to, to SSI, I eventually moved in here. I've been here now for about three years and I hope to move out soon. So if anyone has an uh, opening somewhere, feel free to contact me. Right now, I'm considering running for president of, of our Shasta resident council because eventually we're all going to have to move from here because of the the new arena downtown. It's, it's displaced some people. Like, um, it's going to affect us here. So, We'll have to move eventually anyway. And I want to help people transition. When I was at Salvation Army where I got laid off from, I was a self-described housing coordinator, so I help people, homeless people find housing. And before then, I used to work for Sacramento Housing and Redevelopment Agency, and there I helped do the staff report to get uh, this whole place rehab, re re rehabilitated, and it gets tax credit for being here. So a stipulation on that tax credit was for it to be a clean and sober place. It is not. Now I think when someone is, is caught continually under the under the negative influence of alcohol or drugs, they should at least be required to attend AA meetings here are NA meetings, and they they should be subject to eviction behind that. So it's a problem among many people who who are who have been homeless or who are near homeless. So it needs to be addressed. It doesn't go away. It's just could be ignore it. So I'm looking at. Uh, trying to help people go through tr their transitions in life. So I wanted just to share this little video, probably do a few of them, and I'm not worried about getting in trouble or anything because I, I pretty much had it. Uh, for example, 
I got to notice that they're going to do like a, a pest uh, control deal here where they spray. And usually I just get my bedding and I take it off the mattress and then I wash it and stuff and then the pest guy comes in here and sprays around the bed and then that's it. Last time I, I did that and he told uh, management that, that I wasn't ready so I was charged, I think I'm charged like 30 something bucks for that. Now if that was going to be a case where I, I definitely had, had to have my place ready as they say, then I, then I would have been ready, which required to move all the stuff from away from the walls. And I'm in a small little cramped room. So I had to probably, probably put everything in the center of the room, take all my stuff off my walls, my little posters, and it would have been an inconvenience. And other times when they spray, I just clear my mattress, so it's inconsistent. I told them about the need to uh, put some kind of a plastic coating on, on that brick wall behind me, because stuff, bugs can go through there too, believe it or not. That hasn't happened. John Stewart also owns another property downtown here, and uh, the bed frame is made of metal. The ones here are made of uh, like wood. And so the you know, bugs and stuff can infest there easily. And then the, the mattresses can't get infested. So I need, I need a new mattress. My refrigerator, it doesn't even the freezer doesn't even work. It doesn't even have a cover on it. So I got grievances here and besides bitching about it, I want to help improve this situation for me and, and for anyone who could, comes in here after me. So sharing this little video so I can get something online about it and I hope that wherever it becomes our next mayor there's a good inspection of all our this was called SRO single room occupancy our SRO uh, apartment complex downtown right now it seems like they want to move all the poor people out of here and you push us into the river because we're, we're right by the Sacramento River. And the same kind of attacks that happened to homeless people. So this, this is a situation that has, is bad. It's going to get worse. Whatever happened to rent control? You know, I don't hear anyone talking about rent control anymore where the rent's fixed and they keep raising the rent here and it's, in, and it's the same old room and I think John Stewart was just like a major ripoff. So it's one of the largest uh, property management places in Sacramento. I've seen other ones where, where they, they operate and they're pretty good. So the Shasta Hotel is kind of like, to me it's like a ghetto hotel. I hope to generate the kind of consciousness that is needed to help create the political will and, and the humane concern so that the situation here improves. So. I try to do what I can to help uh, advocate for people online and in real life too. So I hope that uh, 
you feel free to share this with other people as I will. I believe that sharing is caring. Plus, when you share, you help create more of a collective consciousness about issues that you raise in your sharing. So I just have a cheap little Samsung here. I don't have a regular video, so video camcorder. So I do what I can with what I got. And I hope that uh, this will help to produce some kind of tangible, positive result. Power to the people.